Welcome back, YouTube. Today we're playing a game called Broken Through. I've heard really good things about this game. I think it's a demo or it's a short indie horror game. I'm not too sure. I've heard really good things. I like the old retro music that's playing for like 1950s or older. I don't know. I'm I'm a millennial. I I I don't even know. Start game. Ava Williams' son, Leo Williams, went missing. Countless investigations and countless searches took place, but no glimpse of where he went. Seven years after this incident, Ava Williams got a letter saying that Leo Williams was declared legally dead since they never found any evidence as to where he went or where he is now. Also, thank you to games that do this where it says press any key to continue. Oh, much needed. Ava Williams. Well, that should be everything. Thank you for stopping by. I know Leo would have wanted you to have some of his stuff, knowing how close you two were. Oh, I'm I'm his friend. But anyways, I guess I'll head back inside now. Drive safe, okay? All right. Take care. Bye bye. Let's get all these boxes on the truck. All right. Cardboard box. Here's our truck. So we're Leo's friend. We don't really have a name yet. We're just you. So we're grabbing some of his things that the mother has passed on to us. Hopefully there's no weird cursed objects or something like that. Objective, get in the car. I like the, I like the, the graphics and stuff. This is nice. Wait, am I not? There we go. Was it, am, I, am I not the driver of this truck? But we are. We are. Okay, let's go home. Broken. Through. Okay. I like the uh, the little intro. This is cool. Now, the question is now, what are we breaking through? What is it per se? I guess we'll find out. Stay tuned for more. Ooh, the music though. Control vehicle, I'm driving. I'm not very good at driving in video games. I'm feeling the midnight munchies. Oh dang, I'm gonna get some snacks. I'll stop by 11.7 and get a bag of chips before driving home. You guys know that store, right? 11.7, a classic, an American staple. Now I can look around while driving. Oh my goodness, I should, I should pay more attention. All right, it's this way. Go towards the numbers. Let's just drive in the middle of the road because there's nobody here. Who gives a crap, right? Don't don't take driving advice from me. I'm I'm not very good at it. All right, here we go. 117. Park vehicle. There, good enough for me. I I in fact, I think I nailed that landing. Um that is not how I parked. I parked much more like a douche. Look at this perfect park. That's not me. Wait, how do I how do I, how do I go in? How do I go in 117? Give me the snacks. Look at this. Get some snacks. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, from wait. From what? I can't. I can't even read it. It's fruity. I I I I can't. That looks like a big gulp. This literally looks like it was ripped from 7-Eleven. Uh, cheddar cheese, baked beans, green beans, canned corn, crushed tomatoes, and mushroom soup. That's not a snack though. We don't want those stuff. We want. We want, yeah, look at this. Oh, and do you want Doritos nacho grease chips? Do you want Doritos cool stank chips? Or just cheese toes? Or Lazy's chips? I don't know, I'm kind of thinking the cool stank. We don't want baked beans. Nope, that's too much work. Spicy noodles? Oh, give me the spicy noodles though. What else do they have? Just so many beans. Slushy machine covered in ketchup and then this one's just clean. Why is this one covered in ketchup? Who? That's a weird combination. Inspect fridge. All these drinks are knockoff brands. Yeah, not at all like 11-7, right? The seven rewards. 
Okay, let's... I, just, I really want the spicy noodles, though. Um... Oh, hi, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy these chips, okay? Hey, I'm just getting these chips. His name is Jordan. All right, let's see here. There'll be $2 for a bag of chips? That's so cheap in today's times. But hold it. Do you really want to buy that bag of chips? It barely has any chips, just air. This is a, he's looking out for me here. Um, yeah. Maybe I can interest you in buying my own brand that I'm working on. Um, I don't think you're allowed to sell your own branded stuff at your own job. Also, would you trust some random stranger to buy their locally made food like this? Jordan's Jolly Jipper. 0% air, 100% chip. They even made a commercial for it. Are we gonna watch it? Um, I don't think I'm interested. Sorry. Do you want to see the commercial? Yes, I do. Maybe it'll change your mind. Oh, we have to. We have to say yes. It's true. It kind of looked like he had to go and look at what the name of the chip was. That's a lot of side effects. You shouldn't get side effects from eating chips. How much did you say it was? Two ninety nine. dollars What the fuck? <laughs> Please buy it. Ah. Uh, I mean, he put a lot of effort into the commercial. I'm a little worried about the side effects, but you know what? He did say 0% error. That means I'm getting 100% chip, baby. Let's do it. All right. Thank you. I'll give it to you for a dollar. Oh, we're saving money and getting more chips? Special friend price. Winky face. What does that mean? But anyway. It's three dollars for the two bag of chips. Choose your payment amount. Um, three. How do I? How do I do this? Oh, do I have to click? Three dollars. Should I give him like two dollars? Thank you. I knew I was a good businessman. Okay, settle down, Jordan. Your commercial was not that good. Anyway, have a good day. Um, bye. As if I don't know what I just did. All right, we got his chips. Jordan Jolly Jipper. Hi. What do you, sir? What do you have? What do you have planks just sitting here? I I don't know what just happened, but we are leaving the eleven seven. Um, should I eat the chips? Let's head home. I think that's a good idea. Now, as long as we don't eat the chips. While we're driving, I think we're safe. Should I, should I back up? Yes, we should. Oh, it's pretty far. Okay, goodbye, eleven seven. Thank you for the snacks. Goodbye, Jordan, I guess. All right. 300 meters away. Don't be eating the snacks. Save that until we get home. Why should we like a tracking device in the bag of chips or something? No, Jordan's not that smart. He's not that good of a businessman. We're making good progress. We're almost there already. No traffic on the road. We must be, we must be at the middle of the night. Here we go. Here we are. Park here. Nailed it. Perfect park again. Driving simulator 2022 complete. This is my front door. Enter house. Nice red door. Nothing spooky so far. Nothing scary. Based on a recurring childhood nightmare. I take it back. Immediate regret. Seven hundred doctors recommended toothpaste. Mr. Paprat and Matisse. Got a date coming 
I'm eating Jordan's chips. Very interesting commercial. That's enough TV for tonight. I think it's a good call. Am I like wobbly from eating the chips? Or is this how I am? I'm so short. What is it about these games that make me so short? Or is the TV just that big? It's kind of like a normal size looking door though. Light switch. Uh, nope, that was a mistake. Let's leave that on. This, this is the bachelor life. Look at this, TV, couch, and like an Ikea table. And that is it. How do I, yeah, exit the living room. Well, I might as well open the boxes before heading to bed. Okay, I brought those in. Sure. Where, where are the boxes? Also, enter bedroom. That, that's where we just came from. Okay, so here's the boxes. I got four boxes. Let's open the first one. A bunch of books. We don't, we don't want books. Books aren't fun. Give me the toys. Ugly clothes and also not fun. These are not good like Christmas presents. Whoa, whoa, a game. Oh dang. Now we're now we're talking. I should give it a try on my computer. Yes, we should. And what's in the last box? Posters. Meh. There's nobody out here, right? No. Just just making sure. Just make sure. Inspect door. I'll stay inside. It's cold outside. Okay. Why can I inspect it though? Okay, I guess we go to the bedroom, right? I guess this is where we can play the, the, the game. It's really uneasy feeling. Just saying. We got two windows over here. More windows over here. Where's this light coming from? Is this like a backyard? Like, why do we have a spotlight back there? And we live out of boxes. What does it say? Minmo cat food. Do we have a cat? Newly made bed. Hmm. And a sus. All right, well, let's play this game. Sit down. Insert game. Is it a floppy disk? Is it a CD? It doesn't even, the game doesn't even have a name. It's just controls. Arrow keys and enter. Sure. We're playing a game within a game. How meta. Fourth world. Start game. Screw the credits. Um. I'm, I'm trying to move, but I can't. Is the game broken? Is this the intro? I'm I'm pressing all the keys it told me to. It's not working. Is this part of it to not work? It doesn't work. What? Wait. Oh, I was using the WASDA keys, the WASD keys. It's it's the arrow keys. Now, okay, this will this will be interesting. Let's go. I'm glad I didn't have to reset the game. Who's this friend? Looking the distance. Also, I'm much shorter than he is. You have a choice. Um. Okay. Bye? What's my choice? I'm going into the woods, but it looks like it's getting darker. Oh, is that the same guy? He doesn't look friendly. Don't continue down this path. Let's let's continue. Nobody tells me what to do within a game within a game. Um 
There's some low rumbling. Who are you? I can't interact with them. Look at the face. Beware of the man in the coat. Now he says something. Who's the man in the coat? Is that the man in the coat? All right, let's just keep on going. We're committed now at this point. No going back. Is that the man in the coat? I'm getting like slower. I can't go any further. Breaking through. He has broken through. Get up. Objective, exit your room. It, but it's like 3D, and the text is off the screen. Who's, who's he? Are you saying the man in the coat broke through the PC game? What is this? What is this doom? I'm in a cave all of a sudden. I have expected to be in the woods. What's this? The game has just begun. Great. Great. Does this game have lights? A flashlight, perhaps? Finish four of his levels or undergo a fate worse than death. Four levels? Well, it depends on how hard they are. Are we talking about like, you know, Super Mario 3 or... Cause I, I can do those. To finish a level, locate the door. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, is it a horror game that I'm playing within this? Or is it like a platformer, an adventure game? So many notes. Beware of the entities. Oh, lovely. There's bad guys. Of course there is. This is level one. We're just, we're just going into it. All right, here we are. World one. What's this? Give me some tips. Give me a pro tip. As I crossed the bridge, I had tears in my eyes. And I simply imagine myself diving into the water and drowning myself. Tom Thomas. Tom, that's a little bleak. A little bleak there, Tom. All right. Well, is that the level? Is is there more to it? Because if, if that was it, that, that's a pretty easy game. We have a bridge to nowhere. Level one, the bridge. I kind of like the 3D titles like that. It's kind of cool, actually. So what? I just have to cross the bridge. Seems pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty easy to me. I can't sprint. I can't crouch. Is it getting shakier and shakier? Is a boat? Nice whispering in the crowd in the distance. Give me your secrets. I... Is that me breathing? Pass with care. Okay. I can be careful. I'm very careful. Is not is it shallow or is it deep? I can't really tell. What's this? Look through. Sure, why not? It's something to look... What is this? 
Is that like a doll hanging? Why? Why is it out there? Hello? Do you need assistance? Who's out there? It says pass with, pass with care, but it's all covered in, in ketchup? Who's eating hot dogs on the bridge? More whispering. A lot louder this time. Should I turn around? It sounds like something's kind of kind of coming after me. What's over here? More water? A body? That better not be me, right? Okay. I don't know where we are anymore. Very wobbly. How long is this bridge, by the way? Oh, oh, jump. I have to jump to the other side of the bridge? Oh, we're athletic. That, that's impressive. I now, that I probably couldn't do in real life. Let's, let's, let's be honest. I don't know if I can make that jump. But you know what? We're transcending real life here. Wait, are we off the, off the bridge? We did it. Enter the question mark door. Yes. Do we do it? Easy game. Where are we? Did I, did I beat level one? That's where we came from. Where? Where does it want me to go? Yeah, level one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it. Okay. Now what? Where's level two? Here it is. Let's just go right in. Okay, these, these levels are no problem. Baby games. So they'll have to like whatever the saying is, right? Sometimes I wish I could just close my eyes and then be in a better place when I open them again. Tom Thomas again. Who's Tom Thomas? Okay, Tom. Are we in like Tom Thomas's brain? Like, are we, are we reliving Tom Thomas? What, what is this? What, what is, where am I? I'm sorry, but what's my objective here? It kind of looks like buttons. Speaking of buttons. There's a code, a four digit code. Hold on, are they? So there's red, green, blue, yellow. It must be how many red buttons there are, how many how many of each color, right? So red, let's let's look at the red first. There's one. Two. So two is red. No, oh, three. Three for red. Let's go put three in right now. Just so I, I will forget. I will forget. Three. Uh, green next. Let's go do green. There's one. Two. Just two for green. Okay. Uh, blue. One. Two. Three. Four. There's gonna be two and then four. And then yellow. One. I guess the one. So two for one is the remaining numbers. Should go three, two, four, one. No, not seven. Oh, no. 
three, two, or one. The, 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 the head bobble thing. Level two, the staircase. Oh no. I don't know what it is with horror games and staircases, but they actually really creep me out because you never really know what's around the corner as you transcend, not transcend, descend into the abyss. What is this? Close them immediately when you see him. Left click to close your eyes. Oh no, what? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Hold on, let's do a test. And then I open again, okay, this is... What am I gonna see? I don't want to. I don't want to. I'd rather not. Is there a pass option? Can I skip this part? What's this? Trash bin? Why is there a random trash bin here? I don't... I don't want to see him. I don't know what to expect. How far down do we go? I haven't seen anything yet. And I hope it stays that way. I hear noises, but I don't see anything. I don't see anything yet. Just keep on going. Just keep going. We're fine, right? Everything is fine. Nope, that's a sign. That is, I closed my eyes because I saw the sign. What is this? Missing, a missing poster. With, with a little face on it. Is that from, um, is it Leo Williams? Missing poster? Is my character Tom Thomas? Leo's friend? We haven't seen anything yet. So do we really need to close our eyes? So far, it's looking like no. Maybe it's because it, the music like behind us or chasing us or... that I hated that a lot he was definitely not behind us he was definitely not behind us it just came out of nowhere missing poster again everything is fine there's lots of missing posters is it gonna happen again it better not happen again. Are we almost at the end of the stairs yet? Is there anything in the trash bin? Like, can I interact with this? Maybe it's to go one and done moment. Like, they wouldn't do that again, right? Like, it's already been done. Watch me be. What is this? Is this a sign to close my eyes? It was. Don't let them through. Sloth, greed, wrath, envy, lust. It's the seven deadly sins. This is easy. Let's go around slamming the doors. No, you stay closed. No. Oh, why is this so wet sounding? NB. Get out of here, sloth. Nope, gluttony. 
There's definitely things behind the door. Oh, oh, door? Door? Uh, is, did we do it? That level was creepy. That was way scarier than the first one. It better not continue to get scary. Okay, level two complete. All right, here's level three. What's this one gonna be? If it gets continually scarier and scarier, I I don't want to experience four. All right, Tom Thomas, what's the tip of the day? Tom's tips. Don't don't say that. When me and my wife got divorced, I could still feel myself crawling after her and the darkness crawling after me. Tom Thomas. Okay. What 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 does that mean? That we might be getting chased soon? Something crawling after me? Because I don't I don't want that. No, we can just we can bypass We we can bypass this chapter. I don't want to be crawled crawling an event and something chasing us? What is this? Alien isolation? No thank you. I I can't even sprint either. Level three. The vents. Oh no, I thought this staircase was bad. Watch level four be like the maze with clowns or something. I don't know, let's go left. What is this? Divorce agreement. What's on the other side? What's under, what's door number two? I, I, I really don't want to see anything down here. How about we just let this chapter just be like a creepy ambience. Some scary sounds, but we don't actually see anything. I'd like that a lot more. I really don't want to see anything down here. Okay, let's go right again. It's gonna be a dead end probably. Good, 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 good. Just making sure. That's what I would have done too. All right, moving on. Oh, no. Now the vents are red and scary. And there's a sound. Is there something behind me? There's something behind me. There's something behind me. Go. Oh, I hate that. There's something thumping behind me. I saw red. I can't go faster. I, this is as fast as I can go. It's so dark. I'm very curious on what it is that's behind me. Oh no. Nope. I made a wrong turn. I don't think I'm curious about what's behind me anymore. And here we are again. Ah, oh, and now is it a checkpoint system? Are they gonna turn red on me? Or did I go all the way back? Yeah, I went all the way back. It's okay, we know the order. It's right, then left. And at the very end there, don't turn left. Hang a Randy, make a right. We, we hung a Larry and um, went left and that was that was death. So don't, don't let the thing catch you in the vents. At the end of the day, that's the takeaway here. Don't get caught in the vents. In fact, don't even go in the vents. Yep. That is advice you can live with. 
Otherwise, if you go in the vents, you might die. I mean, that's 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 a tip. You, you guys can have that one for free. Oh, here we go. Just go. Just go. I wish I had a flashlight or something. Hearing the thumping behind me is very nerve wracking. Now, I don't know if I made any other decisions between left and right earlier. I hope I didn't. I'm just getting as much distance as I can. Just in case I do make another wrong turn. I hate this. I hate, I am tense. I can feel like the veins in my neck pulsating. All right. I think this is the turn coming up. Not the turn I was thinking of, but that's okay. Another one. Here it is. Turn right. Oh, and then turn left. Nope. Turn right again, apparently. Now. Keep going. What's with the music? I eventually have to go left, right? If, I, if there's a decision to go left, that's what I should do? There's no way three rights in a row. It's right behind me. It's right there. Down? Okay. Oh, man. My neck is just tense. Breathe. That was three. It's, there's an arrow to go this way. Do I really, do I really want to go into four? Uh, what's, it's getting scarier and scarier and worse and worse. Do, what is four going to be? I swear to God, if it's a freaking maze, what is this? I am done. I finished the game and now I feel much better. I feel like a different person. The man in the coat. That's not Thomas Thomas or Tom Thomas or whatever that guy's name is. He finished the game and now he feels much better. Stage two? Level four, fourth wall. As if it's breaking the fourth wall. Wait, wait hold on. fourth world. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Am I in the woods? <gasps> I'm in the woods. Is there a computer screen somewhere? There might be a computer screen. I might see the people like we saw in the game. This is kind of cool. <gasps> there he is. There's the first one. We are all as human as you are. You are our only hope to save us all. Tom Thomas has been corrupted by the entity, including his game. The entity transformed his creation into an endless loop in which Tom Thomas relives his darkest times in life over and over again through each level. The entity feeds of torturing the innocent by luring people into this corrupted game but if you bring Tom Thomas back, you bring all of us back. Does that mean if we break, like, from the game world into the reality with Tom Thomas, are we then also bringing the evil with us? Inspect orb. And we saw you earlier. Hi. Are you Tom Thomas? Barney Gray, missing since 5th of January, 1992. These other people who played the game and they got stuck in here? Carlos Bull. Missing since 12th of September, 1993. Last seen 
buying a game. Okay. Who was the first person we talked to? Here's another orb. Dave Owens, missing since 3rd of May, 1994. Last seen in his bedroom. Look how cursed the images are, though. Now, that should be the last one of the friendlies, I think. This is a really big orb. That's our character, right? Leo Williams, missing since 12th of March, 1995. Last seen playing a game by a lake. Okay, this is Leo Williams, the missing character, the missing son at the beginning of the game. Who we're playing as the character in the game. Does that mean that somebody will be controlling us right now? Hello again, friend. Many people who have gone missing have actually just ended up here. Do you know anything about Leo Williams? Ah, uh, yes. He is the one who has gotten the farthest in the game out of us all. Are you too close by any chance? He was my best friend. He went missing seven years ago, and we all thought he was dead by now. Well, in that case, I could help you catch up to him. There's a glitch on this map that will spawn a door. This door will send you back to your reality for a very short amount of time. If you manage to make it to the same place where Leo was taken into the game, you will end up at the same level as Leo when the man in the coat brings you back into the game. To do the glitch, all you need to do is spam the spacebar when you're a bit further out. Also, be cautious when you're back in your own reality. The man in the coat might try to kill you for breaking the rules. Good luck. That's it? Just good luck? Oh man, we are hooped. We are hooped. Who's the man in the coat then? Who's that character space? Oh! Does it stop that? No, I will not stop that. E let's go. Interesting. So we should be going back to our reality for a very short amount of time, find where Leo went missing, which was in his bedroom, I think it was? Front door. This is the bedroom, right? Enter bedroom. Here's the computer. Is is this newly made bed? Yeah. Oh wait, do I need to leave my house to go to Leo's house? Exit bedroom. Maybe that is the play here. Do I leave? I do. Got it. Okay, so I need to go to Leo's house and go to his bedroom. Drive to Leo's last known location. Got it. Let's get in our perfectly parked truck as per usual. Now I'll probably have to go back. Yeah, this way, right? Let's do like a little, you know, three point turn. No problem. There's nobody on the road in this reality, right? It's pretty far though, 900 meters. All right, let's just listen to nice, nice tunes on the way. Keep your eyes on the road. Oh no, why? Why are those popping up randomly? He's trying to bring us into, back into the, the game, I think. Can I just drive on like the, the, the sidewalk? I know it's not legal, but you know. We're okay. We're okay. We're over halfway there. Nope, not today, Satan. 300 meters go. No problem. The spikes look like they're getting bigger though. Oh, 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 other way. Uh oh, I got slowed down a little bit. This is fine. Okay, we're within 100 meters now. 
Home stretch, baby. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Park it perfectly. Look at that. Oh yeah, he, he was by a lake. This is random, yeah, yeah. Start Leo's computer. So now we should be able to get transferred to wherever Leo is in the game, right? Here we go. Slowly zooming in. This is a very bright screen. Ugh. Player two, join level. There's a lake above us. That's kind of cool, actually. All right, let's find Leo. Leo. Oh, crap. I shouldn't say anything. Leo. Where are you? No. Is he going to be looking like a 2D person? Like a video game character? What do I look like? In the game. All right. Leo? Please help me, Evan. Oh, uh, there, I have a name finally. I'm Evan. Oh, Leo got snatched. I think the man in the coat got him. I think the man in the coat got him. Let's go down. He's in the water. Final level, the man in the coat. He has a health bar. Oh my goodness, no, 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 no. What do I do, what do I do? What do I do? He's got a big giant laser beam. An unknown force is holding him back. Great, now what? What do I do? Save the corrupted souls to save Thomas. All right, sure. Do I, is it what this is? He still has a full bar of health. Was that it? Level 32, despair. Level two join the level, hold on, player two join the level. Find Barney Gray, oh! I have to go into each level of where the missing people are and find them. I thought I had to just go like grab an orb or something. Nope, it's this. Let's follow the pathing, shall we? Where's Barney? 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 If the music starts getting weird and twisted, I'm gonna freak. I'm just, I'm just following the, 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 the line, that's all I'm doing. Interesting uh, textures on the ceiling. Now, maybe I should be following the line. Maybe it's just like it all connects anyway. Maybe sh I should deviate a little bit as I continue following the line. Um. Whoa, 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 the line worked. Barney? Barney? Barney Gray, why should I even try to progress anymore? I'm just gonna end up dead in another level. Uh, Barney, I'm right here. I literally came here for you. I can help if you help me. I don't need any fucking help. I'm fine with staying here. Okay, Barney, come on. I'm trying to help you. I can get you home. Home? Yes, I just need you to trust me. Do you trust me? Does he know who I am? But you know what? Take what you can get, right? I trust you. Oh, okay. Are we back at the boss fight now? One out of four souls saved. Okay. Yep. 
That's exactly what we do. Level question mark? Dementia. Oh no. Level two is no player two is during the level. Help Carlos Bull. Well, here's here's Carlos right here. Listen to the, the music. I feel lost. Can I can I help you, sir? Carlos? Carlos! Hold on, what's this over here? A mirror maybe? Oh, a vinyl record. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Add the vinyl. Does this help? Oh. I remember this. I used to listen to this tune all the time. <laughs> the kids always used to beg me to turn down the volume. And me and the guys used to play cards while listening to this. <laughs> Okay, Carlos. What's so funny? You're you're literally trapped here, sir. He talks so slowly too. Those memories warm my soul. Two out of four. Oh, Carlos was super easy. Super low bar to hit there. Level one twenty five depression. There too. Join the level. Help Dave Owens. Got it. Uh, Dave looks like he's hanging out in a cabin in the woods, perhaps. This little, like, log shed or something here? Oh, Dave. Oh, Dave! Knock. Leave me alone. Hey, man, is everything all right? Okay, Dave, give me the silent treatment I see. No. What's wrong? Oh, Dave, so dramatic. I don't know. I just feel so empty. I hate the feeling, and I can't even explain why I'm feeling it. It's depression. It's depression. Hey, listen. There will always be moments in life where you feel as if nothing matters. That feeling that you'll never feel better again and an urge to give up on everything. But I promise you, it gets better in the end. Come on, Dave, is that it? Please don't isolate yourself. I'm here for you if you'd like to talk. Look at him. My guy is so wise. I'd like that, actually. You're not alone. Dave? Yes, Dave? Thank you. Sometimes you just need a friend to talk to. Sometimes you just need another person with an ear. Or sometimes two ears. But one one will suffice. Level error. Grandson's safe zone? Okay. We're back in the forest. Grandson's safe zone. Well, there's our fourth soul right there. What should be a trap? What are, you, what are you next to? A big rock? That's a grave, isn't it? Leo Williams. Have I been forgotten, Evan? Did anyone even remember me after I disappeared? Of course we did. It's been seven years, man. You haven't been forgotten at all. Exactly. Thank you. We were just literally given your stuff. I got your stuff. Finders keepers. I've missed you so much, Leo. And so has everyone else. Oh, was that... Was that all it took? Evan? I want to go home. Oh, don't worry, Leo. We're trying to get you there, man. Every second of this friggin' game. Four out of five souls. Oh wait, am I the am I the fifth soul? Do I have to save my own soul? We're back here. Save Tom. Oh, Tom Thomas! Right! Tom! Who could forget Tom? Barney? Is this gonna be Carlos? Wait, what? I can't I can't grab this one. Um He's just kinda hanging out now. What are these errors? Unknown error, got it. 
Do I have to grab them in a certain order, maybe? I can't grab that one either. I can't grab this one. Unknown error. He's just looking at me. Everywhere I go over here. Not creepy at all. Do I have to hit the errors? Hold on. I don't. Why can I only grab Barney? Or did I make a mistake and grab Barney by accident? I can't go up. What? Can I, can I use Barney's soul? I can't hit this, right? No, I can't. Well, the boss is glitched, so that's good. Wait a minute. I can't grab this. I can't interact with this. Oh, add soul. Oh, they're pedestals. Leo. Leo. Add soul. I, I didn't put two and two together. Oh, those creepy photos, though. Watch this. Watch the giant monster in the middle be Tom Thomas. We're shooting the, the beam right back at him. Who's the man in the coat still? Or he's gone. All the souls are here? Tom Thomas says, thank you, Evan. It must be you over there, right? You've not only saved me, but you have saved us all. I can now send all of you back to your families. Aren't you coming with us? Wait, Tom. Are you staying here? I'm fine with staying here. Really? Living your worst nightmares over and over again? You've already killed the entity. So by staying here, I can live in peace. Here, I can be truly happy. Not in reality? I'd rather stay in this... Whatever this is? But now I think it's time for you all to return home. Thank you, Evan. Hold on, some of you guys have been here for like seven plus years. I came in here in one day, in like, what, an hour within that, and saved you guys all? That's a pro gamer move right there. Who needs seven plus years? Jeez. Are we back? Fourth World. It's okay. The game was called Fourth World. Got it. Missing boy found alive after seven years. Broken through. Man, this is a cool game. That was really. I really, really like this game. I like that there's like different levels within the game itself. A game within a game, essentially. Super duper meta. Great sound design. Great music. Great atmosphere. Great jump scares. I like that each level was independent from one another. But, um, yeah. This is a fun game. It's also kind of cool that there are, like, different people who are, are trapped within the game itself we had to save. Based on Jordan's recurring childhood nightmares. So, is this based off of somebody's actual experiences? That they get trapped in a game or something like that? It must be. It must be. That's cool. He made a game based off his own actual nightmares. I like that. That's really sweet. That was a really awesome game. Just saying. All right, guys. Well, that was Broken Through. I had a lot of fun with this one. It was a little bit of a longer indie horror game, which is a nice breath of fresh air. Um, great sound design. Great level design. Great story. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more indie horror content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.